Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to talk about transformer agents and its implementation in Colab. Also, we are going to look into some of the use cases that transformer agents can be used like in document AI world or in any of the uh, computer vision world, right? So we are going to experience all of this in this particular tutorial. So these days LLMs are in great news and there have been a lot of developments that are going in, in research world of LLMs. And we have also been experiencing a lot of agents that are being developed over the LLMs. Like you might have heard of Langchain. It's a one of the popular open source library that, ha that has been used for many of the use cases and people are able to develop some of the different kind of use cases by using large LLM models over the uh, Langchain library, right? So similar, uh, similar kind of agents has been introduced by Hugging Face, which is called Transformer Agents, and it's it has got little more capability than Langchain, and you can use this Transformer Agents over your LLMs to get your task done once you submit the uh, task in form of natural language processing. So what does it mean that you might have some task? So let's say you want to extract some informations from a document, and then you want to uh, get that information stored in some format so you might have to write a particular pipeline or you have to take up all of the set of models that are being involved in the extraction process of the particular document model right so in in short transformer agents gonna help you to define all of this process and extract the informations automatically so basically they are uh, their use cases of use agent is something like you want to have a LLMs which are acting as a brain of the central core of a system and they're going to feed in the task to the LLM and then LLM going to generate a prompt, a set of prompts and tasks and tools. So basically, basically using those, uh, those tools, the agent's going to help you to write a Python code and then extract the information from document. So that is the whole pipeline that an agent generally works by using the core LLMs. So agents generally extend the capability of an LLM to improve the application and develop a better application on its own. So these kind of applications are being developed by some of the recent researchers and uh, they were able to impute some of the things by using these kind of applications building out of LLMs, right? So similar kind of things has been developed by Hugging Face where they have implemented transformer agents and have been using LLMs as a core and they are using their own built-in models and all the models that are available in Hugging Face. So by using those models, it's going to help you to understand and extract the information from the tasks that you're going to provide to it, to the particular transformer agent. So this is the basically the concept behind the transformer agents. So it's, 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 basically, uh, it's basically an agent that acts as a core or as a brain, which can interact with all the models that are present in transformer libraries and provide you with certain results by using those models that are present in the transformer library and it will automatically generate an results for you. So if you go into this particular uh, Hugging Face page, you're going to see that uh, they have this agent called uh, Transformer Agents and then they're going to pass in the task that you have to caption the following image and then you pass an image. So that's how the agent is actually is being used inside this transformer library and it is able to download all the models that are required for, for captioning of this particular image and then it's going to return the answer in the form of text. So it is basically, this agent is basically understanding the natural language that the user is prompting and then uh, this particular uh, action is being uh, read by the LNM or the agent and then extract the codes and write up the code, Python code and then develop and uh, or load up a model from the hugging face and then develop a text and generate a result for you. So that is how the, the things looks like as, as you see on the transformer agent. So if you go in at the bottom side, you're going to see uh, a, a proper implementation or the proper uh, architecture of a transformer agent that what it what it is doing under the hood. So if you see, uh, the, here is the instruction that it's going to pass it. So a user can pass our instruction like read out loud the content of an image. So agent will take up this instruction and then set up a prompt to generate set of tasks or set of tools that are required to perform each and every task that has been provided by an instruction from an user. So if you see this instruction read out loud the content of image. 
So this instruction is being read by an LLM which is an agent here in transformer agent and then it will try to understand the instruction and set some of the tasks based on the uh, instruction that has been provided and and for those tasks what are the tools that are being used it, it will also set those kind of uh, tools and then it will download the model from by using the python interpreter if you see on this in this particular graph so it generally take up this instruction generate a prompt generate some of the tools for the specific task that it has identified so in a, it has identified that okay you have to uh, identify a image generator and image captioner and text to speech so these are the tools that it has identified and then it will go to the uh, python interpreter to write up a code by using these all the tools and then this agent will also uh, will use will also will convert this uh, particular prompt or the output of this particular prompt and writing it as like i will use image captioner to the image caption the image and text to text speech the image right so i mean the agent is actually trying to take up the prompt and trying to uh, understand like what is the main uh, agenda of this particular instruction to be done and based on that it is setting up the tools and based on those information it will take up all the tools and the and the information from the prompt or uh, to take up and write up a python interpreter code right and that's how the python interpreter will write a code by using the agent as a core and then and this code is run on the hardware and then uh, this will execute the output so that's how the process of uh, transformer agent looks like right so transformer agents are almost inspired by this hugging gpt uh, here in hugging gpt they are using uh, llm as a core and that particular uh, brain is chat gpt here but here in transformer agent you can change that particular uh, brain i mean the llm so here you can have multiple llms here so maybe you can use openai as an as an llm or you can use your uh, open assistant or you can use your uh, star coder as your uh, llm so these are the things uh, that transform agents brings up the capability but here in hugging gpt you had only one llm model that is the chat gpt which are which is controlling all of the tasks internally right but here you can switch back your tools you can switch your tools you can switch your lm you can switch and write up your interpret your code you can write modify the prompts that you have that is that has been already built by transform agents so this transform agents give you a lot of capabilities and and you can also edit a lot of uh, tools by plugging and uh, by plugging and deleting out some of the uh, things that you don't require to for your particular task to be done so this is the uh, transformer agent and let's see how how it can be used in the collab so if you want to run a uh, transformer agents you have to install some of the dependencies that are required and once you have installed the dependencies you have to uh, make sure that the transformer version is 4.29.1 it should be minimum this or it should be greater than this so here in this tutorial we are going to use openai as an agent or as an llm which is going to handle all of the informations uh, for our old task uh, so you can also change this openai with some different agents that are being provided by hacking face so maybe you can go to this particular blog and you can understand like how you can use uh, like uh, open assistant and other star coder so this is the thing that you can uh, take up and you can uh, change the uh, open ai code to uh, hugging face agents and you can start using the free ones but open ai comes with a paid paid of uh, paid version so yeah, you can use open ai because they are much better in giving an output and understanding the context uh, compared to this open assistant and the free versions of star coder available right so maybe you can start with uh, uh, these these models these rna models the open source and you can switch back to open ai chat gpt and get your uh, understanding and develop a, a difference in the uh, answering of the uh, results right so that's how you can do the implementation so basically we are going to use an open ai so for that you have to use openai agent from transformer.tools and then you have to specify the models that you want to use from openai so we are going to use text davinci and then you have to supply the openai key so that's how you're going to set up your agent by using an openai uh, as an uh, as an agent for you now with this this with this capability now we are going to establish agent.run we're going to instantiate a run method from agent and then you have, you are going to pass in the uh, the task that you want to do 
so if you see i am just going to pass a task that generate the image of a person traveling to future in a spaceship so basically it will download all the models and all dependencies that are required for all of this task to be done and then it will generate an image for me so if you see once i supply this particular text it has downloaded all the models and it has written the prompt if you see the explanation from the agent i will use the following tool so it has identified the the right tool for it so it is saying that it is it's going to use image generator as a tool to generate an image got it to the prompt and then it will generate a code also so if you see it is also generating a code and then finally it is showing the results here so basically it might be using some uh, uh, stable diffusion models at the back end and it, it is downloading all the models and then generating an image by using that so how cool it is right we are just going to supply a a, a prompt or a or a task that you want to do it and and the agent will automatically uh, find the relevant model from from the hugging face spaces and then it will uh, write up the code in right format and then prompt it and then give you a certain task and then it will generate a result for you so before this you might if, if you are doing it manually then you have to will do all of this task on your own and then you have to find an image right so that that was a lot of coding work that has to be done but here by using the agent you can just automate the task by just writing a natural language prompts so that's the beauty of this transformer agents and and that's how uh, we can perform lot many tasks by 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 using this agent uh, transformer agents so let's let's go and do something different here and i'm going to load up an, an uh, invoice image and we're going to extract some information from this invoice image so if you have been following my videos i have been putting lot of document ai uh, models and uh, we are going to just check how this this particular uh, transform agent is going to help us to extract some information from the document right so i'm going to load up this particular invoice and then i'm going to just write agent dot run and then i'm going to uh, write the prompt please help me to find or to extract the total amount the invoice date and the biller address from the given document and then i'm going to supply the document image so once i write this particular prompt and supply the document image it's going to understand the the intent of my uh, prompt so you can see it has it is it is able to understand that okay you have to use document question answering model to to answer the questions for a given image and it, then it has automatically generated a questions for from from using this particular uh, prompt so you can see what is the total amount it has generated a question and then it is supplying a question to this particular document image that i am supplying and then also it has uh, prompted a more one more question which is what is the invoice date and then what is the biller address so based on these questions it has generated and then it has finally given me an answers for all of this information that i was expecting from this uh, trans, uh, transformer agents to give me back you can see the total amount is 9971.56 you can see it is able to get me and read that and then you can see the invoice date is 12929 so if you see the invoice date is 12929 and then if you see the biller address name is name because there was no biller address so uh, it has just given the same output like how it is mentioned in the image right so this is how you can use it in a document understanding and you can extract information from document images so let's go more deeper and understand a different use case which is we are going to pass in some uh, uh, image of a t-shirt so i have this t-shirt image and then i'm going to extract or write a product description for this particular image so maybe in e-commerce uh, domain you might have to write a right product description or write product title for a particular given uh, product right so this particular uh, agents can help us to write a right right kind of uh, product descriptions so let's see how it's going to do it so i have provided this image uh, the the t-shirt image and then i'm going to write an agent dot run and then i'm going to prompt like please write a good seo optimized product title for the given image in 10 words and supply the image so once i do this you going to see that it has it has been able to identify what is the tool that it has to uh, work on and extract the model according to this particular tool so it has generated all the models that are required and then it is able to produce uh some title for me so you can see it has produced the caption is a man is wearing a pink t-shirt and a black jeans so if you if you see this particular image uh the man is actually wearing a pink t-shirt and a black jeans right so this is the this is the uh, uh captioning that it has done all automatically so look how cool it is 
to do this particular task i have to actually use like two to three models to get this things done because you might need to get an information particularly about the t-shirts you might need to use some kind of uh, image segmentation to, uh, to segment the t-shirt from the image and then get a crop the crop the image from the whole image and then take a t-shirt and then get an answer for it right so that's a kind of heavy task when you when you try to do it on your own but this agents uh, help you to use all the capabilities of transformer models and then basically use llms to guide them and then get an, and then get your desired output that you require right so now let's move to the next uh, objective uh, uh, i have i have also printed the agent dot run from template so this is the template that uh, transformer agents generally use uh, so if you see it will it will just take up an information like it will ask or set up a transformer agents to perform certain tasks and then it will some give some information about the tools and the examples and then it fin finally asks uh, to give an uh, answer for the given uh, prompt right so this is the prompt template they generally use uh, you can also modify this based on your own uh, implementation so uh, agent also provide a, a capability to chat so uh, chat is nothing but if you have seen chat gpt it generally takes up the previous information and store that particular information based on information it generally try to answer back your queries right so this is how the agent also doing here so if you see agent dot chat is the method that that it takes up and prompt image and then answer you back based on the information that is it has already been uh, seen so if you have if you have uh, if you have used this particular image previously it's going to take up that particular image and then uh, try to use that particular image of the or the context that you're going to pass and then it will try and transform that according to the prompt that you're giving in the chat so for this if you see i am using agent.chat and then i'm supplying please change the color of a t-shirt to blue in the image so I have already have an image of a t-shirt uh, and then I'm going to pass that particular image to this particular prompt and I'm asking to change the t-shirt uh, asking to change the color of a particular t-shirt right so this is what it has done you can see it has changed the color of a t-shirt to blue but I can also see it, it has changed the color of a jeans so maybe I need to uh, improve my prompts to to specifically change the color of a t-shirt not pant but you can you can understand the objective right so you can actually chat with the transformer agent and basically transform all of this into a one uh, result that you require so this is what it can do and you can see i've also pasted uh, one more uh, chat to it like please write a description for the modified image so this is the modified image that i got and then if i'm using dot chat so it's, it's going to remember all of the tasks that i have done previously and then it will write a good description for me for this modified uh, image right so you can see it has written me back the the man is blue shirt the man a man in blue shirt and jeans so this is the capability of a transformer agents and it's gonna be getting more and more improved in futures and we're gonna see lot many more agents upcoming in uh, in upcoming days and we can see a lot of great works are coming and a transformer agent is one of them and langchain is another agent that you can use so there are different capabilities that you can use uh, and hugging face has implemented it quite well and you can use this particular transformer agents for your own use cases so maybe if you want to perform some task and you want you do you want to set up some task and understand what are the step by step approach uh, to perform that particular task so maybe you can come over here in transformer agent and supply your prompt and get us the step by step answers for your own task and get the output generated so that's how the transformer agents can help you to generate or get results and also understand the step by step process to uh, to diversify the task and understand the process that are involved to perform a particular task right so that's the beauty of this particular uh, uh, transformer agent and i hope you, you enjoyed this particular video if you like the content please do subscribe my channel thank you